Good day! I am Jess Campion and for today's lesson, I will be talking about Serratia Marxisense. Hope that you'll get some learnings in today's lecture. So, what is Serratia Marxisense? Serratia Marxisense is a genus, a motile short red shape, gram-negative facultative anaerobic bacterium classified as an opportunistic pathogen in the family of Yersinaceae. It was discovered by Bartolomeo Bezeo in Padua, Italy. By Seo named the genus Serratia in an honor of an Italian physicist named Serratia and choose Marcesens for the species name after the Latin word for decay. Serratia Marcesens was first thought to be harmless or non-pathogenic. So when we say non-pathogenic, it means it's not capable of causing disease while the pathogenic is the opposite of non-pathogenic. So it is able to cause disease from that certain bacteria. So who is Bartolomeo Bizeo? Bartolome Bizeo was born on the 30th of October in 1971 and died on September 27, 1862. An Italian chemist and a pioneer of microbiology who examined bloody spots on polenta and, recogni and recognized them as being caused by a microorganism that he named Acerasha after the Florentine physicist Serafino Serati. Serratia species, gram-negative bacillus. Gram-negative organisms can be found in cosi or rads. Most gram-negative bacteria are rads, so since this bacteria is also belong to rad shape, it is a gram-negative bacillus. Uh, seven species, motile, often red pigment, and environmental. These bacteria, these bacteria species can be found in a wide range of environments like soil, water and plant surfaces. Serratia marcescens grows at 37 degrees Celsius but it can grow in temperatures that range from 5 to 40 degrees Celsius. They grow in pH levels that range from 5 to 9. Serratia marcescens is well known for the red pigmentation. It produces called prodigiosin. Prodigiosin is made of three pero rings and is not produced at 37 degrees Celsius but at temperature below 30 degrees Celsius. Many pathogenic strains are not pigment producers. Serratia marcescens contaminate. The growth of Serratia marcescens in the environment has been investigated in relation to water, disinfectants, and plastics such as lead bugs. Certain extracurricular products are unique to Serratia marcescens. Pigment or prodig prodigusin biosynthesis by Serratia marcescens has been investigated fully since the emergence since the emergence of the organisms as a cause of infection. The identification of Serratia marcescens. Serratia marcescens was defined by Grimond and Grimond as an oxidase negative, gram negative bacillus producing DNAs. Serratia marcescens is unable to ferment arabinose in Tipton water. Whereas all Serratia's liquefacines strains are arabinos positive. To confirm the identity of Serratia's marcescens, a short series of sugars, including arabinose and raffinose, should be fed into. These are the possible modes of transmission in this specific bacteria. Transmission on hands of stuff, most important mode of spread, and Second one is occasional focal environment sores. Third one is infection usually occurs in compromised patients. UTI in catheterized patients, post-operative wound infections. And the last one is bloodstream infection in patients with intravenous access devices. Serratia marcescens clinical presentation. This is the list of the possible disease when you are affected in this bacteria. The first one is bacteriomania. The second one is meningitis, such as ventriculitis or cyst. Um, cell count may be normal. Mortality is 40. Uh, the mortality rate is 40 percent. The mortality rate is 40 percent. Uh, pneumonia, urinary tract infection, soft tissue infection, and the overall mortality is 
14%. How to treat the serratia infection? Infection caused by serratia marcescens may be difficult to treat because of a resistance to a variety of antibiotics including ampicillin and first and second generation cephalosporins. Aminoglycosides have good activity against S. Persistence, but resistance strains have also been reported recently. Um, if you have question, you can check these references above to enlighten your queries. Thank you so much for listening. Bye. Marcesense infection issues. These are the possible modes of transmission in the specific disease or specific bacteria. Malik. These are the possible modes of transmission in this specific bacteria. Transmission on hands of stuff, most important mode of spread. And second one is occasional focal environment sores. Third one is infection usually occurs in compromise. Compromise. Um, third one is infection usually occurs in compromise. Third one is infection usually occurs in compromise. Compromise again. Uh, the third one is. I believe. The third one is infection usually occurs in compromised patients. Uh, such as pneumonia in ventilated patients, uh, UTI in cathera uh, uh, UTI in catheterized patients, post-operative wound infections. Uh, the last one is bloodstream infection in patients with intravenous access devices. And that.